everyone. This video is going to show you how to use the FTP extension for brackets so that you can FTP your files to our web server. Okay, let me uh, let me get set up here with the, with the page. Okay, so in brackets, we've been talking about this, that on the right hand we have some different icons and we've already worked with the live preview which will preview what we're working on if it's a HTML page. Keep in mind that if you're using brackets for PHP, the live preview isn't going to work because PHP is that server-side programming language. It needs to be FTP'd over to the web server that has PHP installed on it before you can actually see what the preview is going to look like. So, but any HTML page with CSS and JavaScript will work fine with a live preview. Okay, underneath that you have what's called the extension manager. And this is one of the reasons I like brackets so much is because we can add things to it to make it work better. Okay, so similar to like little miniature apps that we're adding to the program. And this is what's cool about open source type um, applications is that other people can build things that will extend the capabilities of this program. So one of the things that we really need to have when we're doing web development is the ability to FTP our files. You can use an FTP client like FileZilla which is totally fine so if you currently have FileZilla and you know how to use it by all means go ahead and use it for me, I think it's easier just to be able to have this in our uh, development environment. Okay, so once you click on the, the extensions icon, it will show you, you've got some tabs here, what you have installed and what's available. And then there's some themes. So if you really want to play around with these things, you can. But the keep in mind, kind of go out there and research which extensions you want to build in. Some of them work better than others. So if you go out and kind of see what some of the comments are on these extensions, maybe even if you find like a rating, uh, a site that has ratings of the extensions um, or how many downloads they've had or the popularity of certain brackets extensions, then you kind of have a better idea. So what we want to do is we want to have an FTP extension. And if you go and type in FTP in the search box, you'll see all the ones that come up. Now, I've played around with a couple of these. It looks like this one's brand new. I haven't, haven't seen that one yet. I played around with SFTP upload. I didn't really care for it. The one that I felt worked best was this EQ FTP. So I'm going to show you how to set up FTP in brackets using EQ FTP. So once you search for it, you can just click install and it's going to download everything it needs for this extension and install it in our bracket software. So let's just give that a second. Okay, once it is done installing and it will depend upon your internet speed and your computer speed, how quickly that installs, it should only take a minute or so you'll see the message installation successful and you can click close and close again and now you should see a new icon in our list if you don't you might want to close brackets program by clicking X in the right hand corner and restart it okay so this is the FTP icon or the extension that we have included here so Let's say I'm building a page. So let me create a quick little page here. Give me one second to type this. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've typed up this real simple page here. And I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it in my directory that I have already created. Okay, so I'm going to save it under my website dev class. And I'm going to save it as homework one. Okay. 
In my homework one, I'm going to call this index.html. And this is going to be kind of weird, but let's just, this is my original homework one file. I'm going to save it here. I'm also, so when I'm done with it, when I'm completely done with it, all right, let me do a preview here. Hold on. Okay, so here is the live preview for my homepage. <clears throat> Again, very boring. But what I want to explain to you is that in my root directory, I have set up this particular folder. I actually have a folder called websites and I kind of put it in here, but since you're just doing this one class, you can just put it in documents or you can set it up like this if you'd like to. So I have this website dev class. I'm going to have all my homework assignments in here. And then when I'm done with my homework assignment, I'm going to upload it to the server. But what I want to do is I want this page to be at the root level of my website. And the root level is this, this particular level here. So when I'm done with my homework one or homework two, whichever assignment it is for you, I'm going to copy my HTML file and any CSS or image files, and I'm going to put it at the root level. So the root level is the, like the first level of this. And the reason I'm doing that is because on the web server, this is how it's going to be set up. The index.html file is the file that the computer, the web server, looks for when you go to your URL. So, for example, with my URL, if I went to dlaney.collegewebserver.com, this is from an old class, but this is what my index page looks like. So I want to replace it with the index page that I've just created. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing I need to do is go into this EQFTP and it's going to ask me which server should I connect to. Well, since this is the first time I'm using it, there's nothing here. So I need to click on this tiny little icon to the left. And when you mouse over it, it says Open Connection Manager. So I'm going to click on that. And this is where I'm going to create a new connection. So I'm going to click Create New Connection. Now, something to keep in mind. We do have brackets installed on the computers, in the, in the lab, in the classrooms, things like that. But <clears throat> what you need to be aware is that you need to create this connection on every computer that you're sitting down to use. So this is going to work best for you if you have like your laptop or you have a computer at home that you can connect to. But when you come to class, you're going to have to type in this connection and this is going to be something you're going to need to know how to do because you're going to do it several times. And then make sure if you're on a public computer that you delete this connection before you leave so nobody else can get there. Okay, so here's a few things that you need to fill out. Number one is a connection name, and that's just for your information. So I always do CWS, short for College Web Server. And then it's going to ask you the name of the server. So here... We're just going to put in collegewebserver.com, and we're going to use FTP. Uh, the FTP username is the eight-digit, eight-character username that you've been provided either by me in class or by me or Ellie um, via Canvas message. So one of us will have given you your username and your password. Let me see if I can remember mine. And then where it says remote path, this, this question is where do you want me to put this on the web server? And we want to put this under our public underscore HTML directory. Everything under public HTML will be shown to the web. Okay, and then this next local path is where are the files coming from? So this is where I need to select the root path for my computer. And you want it to be at that top level. So whatever you have called this folder that has your homework 1, homework 2, homework 3, etc. 
this is the path that you want to put it at and your index.html should be here. So you want to select this particular folder <clears throat> so that the FTP will be at the root level and your remote path on the web server will be at the root level. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and the, there are some options for maybe when you get a little bit more um, comfortable with FTP that you can upload file on save. So especially those of you in PHP, that's a pretty handy type tool. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and click apply. So then it's going to ask me for my password. And I don't know if that's exactly the right password, but I click apply again and click close. Once you close, when you go back to this, you should see the CWS. So if everything works right, as soon as you select that, you're going to see all of these files. You're not going to see as many as me because mine's pretty crazy because I've been using it for several years. But you're going to see some files. There's, you're probably going to see these files that say 400, you know, maybe HT access. You're not going to see all these other things and you're not going to see all these different folders yet. Yours is probably going to be nice and clean. So what I want to do is I want to save this particular file that I'm working on. And in order to do that, you're going to right click on the file name and click upload or add to queue. Okay. So I'm going to click upload index.html and I can see the queue down here. Here's another little option that the extension gives you this EQ FTP queue. And you can see what the status is of everything that you've done. So ideally, if I come over to my page here and refresh, here is the same page that I've just created. Now, when we start building out our homework assignments for our classes, you're going to end up taking that full folder, like homework two, and uploading everything through FTP. And then you're going to come to your home page and you're going to make a link to whatever your homework two directory is, slash index.html, whatever the page file name is. And this will then eventually be live. Okay, right now when you're first setting it up, since you don't have these created, you don't necessarily have to um, put those live. So once I save, again, I can right click on here, upload, and then I need, anytime I make a change to the file and upload it, I have to refresh in my browser. So there you can see that it's going to go to this folder, homework2 slash index.html, but I don't have anything there yet, do I? So as you're building this out, you can take a look at what you have here. Let me take a look at one that I have. So I've got something in here called homework3 and index.html. So that's already up there from a prior class. So I'm going to go ahead and build this and see what that looks like. It's probably just another page that doesn't have anything on it. But what you're going to be doing is you want to make sure that you keep all of your file names all lowercase and without any spaces since this is a Linux web server and you don't want to hold on it's hard for me to talk and do this at the same time you don't want to have any problems with the file names so for the best experience working with a Linux based web server all lowercase and no spaces or weird characters you can use numbers but don't use any weird spaces, I mean, weird characters or spaces. Okay, so now here's a link of something that doesn't exist, and you're just going to get taken to this ugly 404 page. And here's a link to something that does exist. So there we go. That's ideally where you want to go, okay? Um, and that's kind of the big picture for where this class is going. Now, this is a very simple page that I've created. And for your homework assignment, I want you to build this page out and put some color in it and put some images in it and things like that. So, but this is how you get your page from your computer up 
to your web page. Okay, hope that's been helpful.